Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Nuclear Throne Daily. I didn't expect to do a daily today, let's just get to the character select screen here. I didn't really expect to be doing a daily today, but uh, I'm back early from the thing that I was at, and we have 20 hours left. That's a considerable, I guess I could have just done it tomorrow afternoon. Let's try the daily run, let's random, and we're gonna be chicken. Chicken, as far as, you know, newbie friendly players. Uh, or characters, I should say, goes, is not so bad. It's a little bit risky because it starts with a, um, a melee weapon, but the katana is, is fairly solid, I think. I'm not sure. Let's try to find some red bullets, uh, because if we find some red bullets, we can test whether or not we can reflect red bullets. So we'll get as much distance as possible. The bullets totally reflect. That's good to know. Or maybe, uh, like, all red bullets are always reflectable, but you just can't reflect... The yellow bullets. That might indeed be the case. Long range. Most hit bullets become ammo. Energy weapons deal more damage. Stronger attract power. To me, if we're going to be rolling a melee weapon for probably a considerable length of time, it seems to make sense to go for longer melee range. Sometimes I actually just think I'm, I'm better with melee than I am with projectile weapons. You see that shit? Try that again. See what happens. You're not going to like it. And this may actually be an awesome chance for us to check out some of the mutations that I would normally consider not really all that valuable. So I'm just going to farm this stuff up. We might as well have one ammo or one weapon that shoots bullets and one melee weapon. People have told me, or at least one person told me, I don't want to misrepresent the community at large, but one person told me that uh, it's actually not a bad idea to have... Oh, jeez, uh, our right-click ability is slow-mo, by the way, which totally could have come in handy there. Um, however, oh, jeez, we got to go. Uh, one person told me that it's not a bad idea to have two weapons of the same type because then all the ammo that you get is guaranteed to be the type for the weapon that you have. I gotta experiment a little bit more with that before I'm necessarily gonna sign off on it. I do like the crossbow, but considering we've already taken a melee focused mutation, it might be okay for us to just stick with what we've got. Oh my, Atlanta, this is a... This is a complicated setup. One thing's for sure, we gotta clear out some space. Assault rifle is better. Uh, then Pop Gun, I think. A lot of people told me Pop Gun is actually worse than Revolver in most cases because it's got, uh, such a large, like, diffusion on its actual attack. Alright. We, we've gotta switch. And take out our, uh, main dude there. Where is our Assault Rifle? It was over here. Switch weapons, switch the Assault Rifle. Use the Assault Rifle to go buck wild on the boss. We'll get a mutation. It's going to be very worthwhile for me. There's our slow-mo, and uh, we made it out of there totally fine. We're actually almost all the way to level 4 as well. Okay. Homing bolts, slower enemy bullets, more HP from medkits, extra feet, walk normal on all terrains, and more speed as well. Uh, I'm going to take more HP from medkits. Maybe that's a newbie trap. I don't know. Uh, especially when we don't have rabbit's paw. I don't necessarily expect to be getting a lot of medkits. But that's, uh, that's my strategy, and I'm sticking to it. A mutation I would actually like to try out is, uh, Impact Wrist. Oh, jeez! Impact Wrist allows you to have, uh, corpses that ah, fly harder. Fly further and hit harder, I should say. Actually allowing you to, uh, and I've used it a couple times, but never, uh, never on a high-stakes challenge like this one. May or may not be. That bazooka scares the shit out of me. With low HP, I would expect to probably kill myself in the process of using it. Maybe not. Maybe not. There's level 4. We might end up having to take Last Wish, which is kind of like the... It doesn't actually give you a permanent upgrade, but it allows you to survive by giving you more, uh, more health and ammo. But yeah, Impact Risk could allow us to get some sweet chain reactions, which would be awesome. But let's just focus on the, uh, on the most immediate concern, which is actually just living through this floor. And if we can live through this floor, then we'll worry about, you know, the bigger fish to fry. What our mutation's gonna be. We lived! Last wish, get full health and some ammo. Stress, higher rate of fire as HP gets lower. Back muscle for on a higher ammo uh, maximum. Or euphoria, slower enemy bullets. I'm gonna take last uh, wish for full health and some ammo. It's, um... I don't want to necessarily call it a newbie trap, but last wish is kind of like... I see it as if you'd given up your, uh, oh no, I'm straight up dead. Well, that was not very good. 
Let's do some more runs uh, over the course of this video. I'm 209th. That was terrible. Uh, let's get off the daily and we'll just random a run here. And we'll play as Plant. Plant's pretty good. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. Last Wish, I, I, it's kind of like in Rebirth if you were like, no, don't give me an item room. Instead, like, I really need a Spirit Heart right now. Like, it, it, when I put it in that context at least, it definitely makes it seem like uh, it's a bad choice long term, but you never know short term. I'm imagining that a lot of people watching this are very familiar with Nuclear Throne, but if you're not, uh, Plant's ability... Oh my god, I gotta stop taking dumb damage like that. It's the principal thing killing me. Plant's uh, right-click ability, I assume the character is called Plant, by the way, I might be mistaken, is uh, this, like, Thistle ability, right there. And what it does is it keeps uh, units trapped in the Bramble. To put it in more of a towerfall context, I guess. And uh, the Bramble, it does do damage if you pick up Throne Butt. And when I played the game ages ago, it was a little OP because it always did damage after you got Throne Butt. Now I think it only does damage. I am totally going to take the Grenade Launcher. Now I think it only does damage if the unit is below like half HP. I don't really like the SMG, but you know, I'm, I'm reading the comments to try to get better, especially after that embarrassing performance right there. Uh, maybe the SMG is awesome and I'm not giving it the proper credit. Sharp Teeth, damage taken is dealt to all enemies on screen. More speed, more HP for medkits, enemies touching you take damage. Sharp Teeth, Extra Feet, Second Stomach, Gamma Guts. I'm gonna try Extra Speed. I, I am faster, uh, there's no question about that. Thank you for all the positive comments, by the way. I appreciate it a great deal. Um, you know, when I get uh, when I get backseat gaming and rebirth, I'm still thankful for. It, but at the same time, I am kind of also like, but I won. You know, <laughs> and like I'm winning consistently. I like you don't have to be so rude. Not to you know unnecessarily quote the song. Really good for for controlling the movement on you know mobile bosses like this is the the bramble ability. But anyway, in Nuclear Throne, I suck. So I, I very much you know place myself on the altar of please commenters help me get better it's a good thing to strive for in life in general isn't it you know to strive for the ideal but sometimes you're like I don't want to be the ideal I just want to eat fried chicken and watch a movie and that's you know we're all guilty of that to some extent nobody can can be perfect all the time but I would like to try to get better at, at nuclear throne at least triple machine gun I actually hate the triple machine gun that was great I actually hate the triple machine gun, but I love the machine gun. I hate the triple machine gun because it is, um, oh man, there's still an enemy left. And I think I'm, I'm content with our weapons right now. Uh, I hate the triple machine gun because it's wasteful, but it's also, it's powerful if the bullets actually hit, but oftentimes they will not. I think we got two mutations there? Yeah, select two mutations. Throne butt, plant snare finishes enemies under 40 HP, long melee range. Damage taken, this is sharp teeth, this delta, all enemies on screen, or extra chest spawn. I'm gonna try Throne Butt, and then we've got uh, Back Muscle for higher ammo max, Rabbit's Paw for more item drops, Homing Bolts with Bolt Marrow or Sharp Teeth again. I'm gonna take Rabbit's Paw, I really do think Rabbit's Paw is probably my favorite item, favorite mutation I should say in the game. So now, if enemies are below 4 HP, 40% of HP, I don't know why I said 4 HP. If they're below 40%, the Bramble will finish them off. I gotta get in there. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Now I've really gotta get in there. <laughs> um, so I should try to use the Bramble as kind of a finisher more often. I imagine that's based, based on the fact that it takes like two shots to kill these enemies. One shot probably puts them at like 50. One shot puts them at uh, zero or, you know, thereabouts. I could be wrong with that, man. It's not simply 100 divided by 2, you know, one shot could take them to fucking 1% HP left and the last shot just overkills the shit out of them. Um, but basically, eh, Toxic Launcher is... I've, I've had good success with the Toxic Launcher, but I really like a more classic layout with the Grenade Launcher here. But anyway, um, I'm feeling like it's probably more useful on bosses, if it even applies to bosses. To be able to take a boss 60% of the way down and then just snatch them in the Bramble, that could be amazing. I thought that floor was awesome. I think we did a textbook job there. All right, now here is where things get a little trickier. We got the enemies that pretend to be dead. I just mostly like step one for me is just putting myself in a safe place. And this is the safest place here. Uh, there's definitely that unit pretending to be dead or asleep. And I should probably use my, oh, we're so close to level five. I should probably use my grenade launcher to uh, take out some of these more difficult enemies like that flame 
Lizard? I don't know what you'd actually call it. Gotta be careful using the grenade launcher because an enemy could just run in front of me. That opened up a little bit more space that I could be happy with. Oh! Oh, that guy almost got me. The melee dude almost got me. Okay, let's try that. Didn't quite work, but he's gotta make a decision. There we go. I'm gonna save my uh, my grenades though for many situations and and try to use uh, try to use the bullets instead. But I'll tell you what, I, that was not what I meant to do, but I will use the grenades to try to take out the flame traps that are in, that are in kind of awkward positions. And the cars as well, because I really don't want that car to be like one hit away from death and then get hit and explode in my face and kill me when I'm not expecting it. Good stuff. We gotta be almost done with this floor. It's probably just that enemy left. I'm happy with our weapon loadout and we leveled up and we've got okay ammo. I would like to have more bullets, but that's okay. Stronger attract power. Patience, mutate later. Strong spirit prevents death once, recharges when back at full HP. People have told me that that's overpowered, so I'm gonna take that as opposed to, you know, I think that one's called like laser brain and energy weapons deal more damage. Most important thing for me, kill those enemies that, that one shot or nearly one shot you. Good stuff. Good stuff. Almost at the point where I should probably, I think I'm at the H, or not HP, but I think I'm at the ammo cap for explosives. So let's uh, let's try to use our explosive weapons a little bit more here, with the added bonus of us possibly being able to get uh, med kits out of the walls or or ammo kits for that matter, ammo drops. I don't know the appropriate term for a drop of ammo. An ammo drop seems appropriate to me, but I might be mistaken. Scumbag Northern Lion. Oh, let's be careful here. Takes throne butt and then never uses bramble. You got a very good point. It seems like these guys take like three shots. No, stop shooting the police headquarters, dog. These guys take like three shots, and then uh, I had—I felt like I had to eat that one because they were going to attack the cops. Get the med kit. I don't even care about the weapon so much. All right, this is where the boss is going to be, and we do have a, a sawed-off shotgun. I am no. Uh, oh God, I'm no stranger to the shotguns in the game. I'm so dead. I'm no stranger to the shotguns in the game. They're probably like my, some of my favorite weapons at least. Oh lordy. But I, I, I just, I'm, I feel confident with our current setup. Which is probably not that, oh my god, we were like a second away from getting those medkits. I didn't even know they were there in the first place. Fudge. Okay, I'll do one more, because I like the game. Uh, and we're playing as, uh, I'll admit, you know, straight up, I don't know the name of the character. I suck with this character usually, but they have great abilities. I was really invested in that last round. I thought it was going pretty well. So this character is like one of the, you know, nuclear thrown police department or whatever. And uh, I believe, yeah, they start with an energy weapon and they also, they have portal strikes. But I'll cop to not really remembering what the, oh, get out of there. I'll cop to not really even remembering what the portal strikes actually do. Um, but it's, it's a character that was added semi-recently, you know, it's like, for me, it's almost like a DLC character. Even though it's not DLC and it's all totally free, but, you know, if you played like, you know, Guardians of Middle-Earth or something like that to pull out the weirdest example of all time, and all of a sudden they add, like, fucking Thor and Oaken Shield. I don't think it's Oaken Shield, I think it's just Oak Shield. It doesn't matter, okay? I'm not trying to get by on... Oh, that was the ability that I was not supposed to use. So we'll do one more with a character that I'm a little bit more familiar with. Basically, I suck with that character and need to spend more time. Young Venus YV is our character now. Actually, probably next to Crystal, my favorite character in the game. And when you accept that, uh, I mostly like Crystal because of the higher starting HP and the fact that uh, I suck. Uh, and I acknowledge that I suck. The YV play, I think, is is actually my favorite. Left click shoots your gun. Right click, I can't remember if YV gets more ammo drops either. It doesn't really matter because right click basically uses twice as much ammo to fire twice as many bullets in one blast. And it's kind of a zero sum game I think because it does all oh, bloodlust, ammo max, or sorry, bloodlust, back muscle, and rhino skin are all good. But I'm gonna start with rhino skin here. Um, it, it's kind of a zero sum game. That was terrible damage. Uh, because you have a much longer reload time, or at least like refractory period, um, when you, when you use the brop brop ability, which is your, man, could I have sounded like lamer when I said that, but, 
um, which is your right click. But still, it's so valuable if you're fighting bosses because I guess it's not really a zero sum game because you kill the enemy faster. So, you know, you're probably going to get less damage yourself. This guy's about to die. I wonder if he'll give me enough to level up. Barely, but enough. Now give me Bloodlust again. No Bloodlust. More HP for medkits, long range. Shotgun shells bounce further. Higher rate of fire as HP gets lower. I'm going to take Shotgun Shoulders, or <laughs> Shotgun Fingers, I think is the actual name. But I like the idea of Shotgun Shoulders. And it, it basically gives us better range on our, uh, on our shotgun ammo, which is our secondary right here. You know, it doesn't have to be our secondary. It could be our primary, but I'm going to use it as a secondary. I don't know how effective it is. It might be like the worst trinket in the game. Maybe I just picked up, uh, you know, Crack the Sky when I had the D6 or something like that. But that's all part of the learning process, isn't it? That was sweet. That was worth the price of admission right there. Stop trying to give me the disc gun game. It's not going to happen. All right, this Joker's got to get out of here. Come get a taste, baby. Hide it up. Oh, I am an idiot. Okay, let's try not to make that same mistake. He actually dropped two med kits, so I'm not feeling so bad about it. But I pretty much ate like a full blast right there. You know what? I'm into shotgun fingers. I can get down with it. We got to worry about ammo, though, because our uh, assault rifle actually uses a decent amount of ammo as well, especially if I use the right-click ability. So I'm thinking in these uh, tight corridors that you typically end up with on this level... We're going to be happy to have the shotgun with shotgun fingers. Oh god, that was so close. Um, but I'm, I'm not going to use... Uh, I'm probably not going to need to use it, but I, I probably won't use our special ability. Because it's just important for me to, it, to begin with to, you know, conserve some ammo here. 16 shells. That's a huge get for us. Hitting level 4 is nice as well. I don't know if that's where we should be at this point. Oh my god, get in there. All right, I'll use my special ability against that guy. We'll get the med kit and the ammo. I'll use it in there as well, because I think it just cleared them out in one hit. Laser rifle. I think the laser rifle is super good, but because I have shotgun-focused, uh, well, a shotgun-focused mutation, I think I'm going to stick with that for now. Oh my god. I did not expect him to go quite so hard there. Bloodlust, uh, it's almost not even a choice. Open mind, euphoria, bloodlust, homing uh, bolts. I'm gonna go with bloodlust. Oh, geez, that's a dangerous start. We gotta get out of here soon. <laughs> I really don't like being here. I, I don't relish the thought of finishing a video, though, without at least, at least having a decent chance at killing Big Dog. I gotta get in there and get that ammo, but... We can't make it out! Oh, we made it out, okay. <laughs> we'll never make it! We made it! Not maybe the best shotgun blast of all time. Ah, this will be though, and by will be, I mean in the future, the next time I do it, because that time clearly did not get the job done. Terrible aim. There we go, that's more along the lines of what I was looking for. Pick up some ammo, and then never speak of this area again. Bloodlust just healed us up. I think with our weapon combination... I don't want to talk about that. With our weapon and mutation combination, I think this is the best chance we've had in a long time of being able to make this work. Do you want to roll... Um, I can't remember if we have shotgun or slugger right now. But let's try the sawed off. Which way is this going? Okay, that's good to know. Sneak out this way. Oh my god. Might be the last enemy. Is not the last enemy. Maybe that's good. Uh, I was going to say we have a small chance of hitting level 5. We don't. That's okay. And, oh, maybe we do because that's actually not the last enemy. There must be some little sneaky, sneaky dog here hiding. Don't think it's that guy. <laughs> just fire a warning shot just to be sure. Oh, it's this gentleman over here. Ah, two actually. I still don't think we're going to hit level 5. We're very close. No mutation, so I've really got to rely on Bloodlust to hook us up. But I actually think that um, compared to some of our more recent spawns, this spawn is actually pretty good. Oftentimes, uh, you kind of find yourself in an open area right off the bat. You should get full HP when you level up, just saying. I'm, I'm joking. That would 
That would be a little ridiculous. I saw that, that purple dude open his eyes over there. Don't think I didn't. Yeah, there you go. How do you feel about that shit? Don't... Energy hammer. It's so good. Oh, it's a mimic! Energy hammer is so good. However... I, I don't want to mess with a good thing right now. Is kind of how I've, I'm feeling about it. Where is the boss? Oh, this is only level 2. The boss should not be here yet. Oh, it's the police again. That guy's dead already. Okay, it's good. It's fine. We're, we're safe. We made it. And we leveled up. This could be a perfect time for a last wish. No last wish. Some kills regenerate ammo. Kills lower reload. Longer melee range homing bolts. Some kills regenerate ammo. That could be worthwhile. Now, unfortunately, I find myself having not really improved um, my HP, which is something that I was concerned about coming down here. There we go. We've improved it a lot now. Get out of here, you jerk. You're being an asshole. Nobody wants to tell you because they're too nice, but you're making people uncomfortable. Stop. Ah! I didn't notice Purple Man until it was almost too late. Okay, Big Dog is ready. Blow up the car, and then just go buck freaking wild with your secondary ability. We're going to run out of bullets, probably. Can't even fire my assault rifle anymore. Okay, it's Shotgun City, baby. And we got to be ready, because when this guy dies, he explodes in a big way, and we lived. Okay. Which is great. Toxic Bow. History quickly crashing through your zone. Okay, do we want to take the Toxic Bow? How much ammo do we have for bow? 42. It's pretty good, but are we really going to replace our assault rifle with it? Let's give it a shot. I'm feeling pretty good about this run, actually. And we gotta take some more powerful guns, maybe, to make big progress here. So that's the Toxic Bow. We've never seen it in the game, uh, in, in the series before. Fire, it's like a crossbow, but it also does poison damage in an area of effect and for a certain amount of time. It can be really, really good. I've had some really good runs that relied on, on Toxic Weapons, whether they were Toxic Launcher or Toxic Bow. Um... You know, you... Jeez. You suffer... For sure... Hmm. A lack of ammo. The theory, at least, is that it's made up for by the fact that it kills anything if it hits it in one hit, usually. Not anything, but a lot of things. It can also get kills, like, in an area of effect. I think we got him there. Yeah, okay, the poison got him. You would think that crystals would be immune to poison. You would be wrong. What do you know about crystals? Jack shit, apparently. Just needed to get some of those little gas particles in there. Ah! <laughs> Gotta run a little bit when they come in. Nice try! Okay, we're gonna run. I should stop using brop brop if I'm just gonna hit the wall. Thank you, I appreciate that. We're fine. We got him! Okay. Just sneak in here, because I had a feeling something like that could happen. Nice. Now we can de- there's definitely friendly fire, man. That's the name of the game in here. That was beautiful. Um, I- we- I'm so concerned about running out of ammo, but at the same time, I'm really liking being able to kill enemies so quickly, and there- that's our portal, man. We can get in there and maybe get Last Wish. Back Muscle. Yeah, we got Last Wish. Back Muscle's so good, too. Impact Risk could be good with, like, with both of our items and the Mutation Shotgun Fingers, but I'm gonna take Last Wish just to hopefully allow me to extend my, uh, my performance here. And I really like having, uh, high damage weapons once we get to this stage of the game, because we're fighting some nasty enemies. Man, oh, okay. This guy doesn't fuck around. He will straight up pick up a car, throw it in your face. Doesn't give a shit. Secondary ability was good enough to finish the job there. We're fine. We lost 4 HP. That's not that's not enough to kill us. In case you were wondering. Good. Yeah. All dogs go to heaven, baby. Sneak in there. I think the plasma rifle is the weapon that the last character we played as starts with. It's actually pretty great. 
But I, I'm always wary about energy weapons due to the ammo concerns. But maybe I shouldn't be. Heavy assault rifle sounds... Oh! Ah! I'm alright. Sounds flippin' sweet, I'm not gonna lie to you. But I, I play these games a little conservatively. I'm very invested in our existing uh, weapon loadout, and it seems to be working out fantastically. I might be making a terrible decision. Thank you, Bloodlust. I might be making a terrible decision. We got gotcha. you. We're gonna get you. Maybe we don't got you yet, but we're gonna get you. Max bolts. That feels real good. Probably missed out on some stuff there, but that's okay. This is a it's a landmark run already. Oh, that's beautiful. Anytime I can kill enemies and not have to deal with so much shit myself is fine by me. Look, I would love the experience, but there's so much horse hockey going around in this area over here that I kind of feel like I'm I'm going to be ha Did I just walk into my own toxic bolts? I think I did. Uh, I'm going to be very happy just killing things, man. Anytime I don't have to actually fight an enemy is great in my mind. I really hoped, actually, that that would destroy the car. I know we're missing out on a lot of experience in the process here. This strap might work better with something like Plutonium Hunger. For the stronger attra attract power. But we're still alive and doing relatively well. Now, if I can keep these guys away from the police, life is but a dream, you know? Now, next floor, we have a chance to beat our best performance ever on camera, Nuclear Throne. Come on, come on. If we can, uh, if we can beat the next boss. Now, I'm not saying I got high hopes for it, but it is a possibility. Doing a little bit better on HP here. You know what? It's totally not a zero-sum game. Two shots, uh, uh, two shots does less damage than one right-click. This is a huge floor for us. Super crossbow. I can't not take super crossbow. I, I've been loving the toxic bow. Oh! Oh, it's the boss. Oh my god. We are. Someone slow that shit down. Did I kill the boss? I killed the boss with one hit from the super crossbow. What in the Jesus Christ? Oh, because it fires like 80 bolts at the same time. Still. <laughs> still uh, are you seeing what's happening here? It, I mean, I realize we don't have very many bolts, but... Oh, no. At the same time, it felt like we... What is this green man? This green man who fires a thousand bullets! Oh well. That was a great nuclear throne run. I had a great time. We were making good progress. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the run. If you did, click the like button. Sorry we sucked on the daily, but hopefully we made up for it at least a little bit with that last run. Uh, if you did enjoy it, uh, of course, appreciate the feedback helping me, you know, expedite the process of learning the metagame and the ins and outs of nuclear throne. And of course, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.